Hi, I'm Andrew Kotlar, the director of the narrative of Henry Winston. And uh, I'm Luke Roberts, the uh, cinematographer and everything genius else. behind all the good parts. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, well, yeah, it was it was definitely a collaborative effort, I think. Yeah, we, um, uh, we met together and, and kind of came up with a story. And... Yeah, the, uh, yeah, we uh, actually, when we wrote the script, or came up with the original concept, uh, was actually at the uh, Open Door Coffee Shop, which is where this first scene is uh, filmed. And which, actually, this is the very first uh, scene we filmed for Henry Winston, um, which uh, was quite, <laughs> quite hectic. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we, we ended up, uh, we, we probably started around 7 o'clock and ended, finished filming. 4 a.m. pretty yeah, much. Pretty much, yeah. And, and uh, I had to work, I had to work, uh, I worked here for a short time and I had to work at 8 a.m. So it was a little bit, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that, that I was kind was, of bummed out. But, that's uh, pretty darn awful. But we had a lot of people, kind of a lot of people on, uh, on the first set. I mean. Yeah, if you if you've watched the film, which I hope you have already, um, because spoiler alert, you know. <laughs> uh, but we actually everything, all the audio that we got originally was quite awful, quite awful indeed, uh, especially here. Um, yeah, we tried. Well, we I had a uh, I had a uh, shotgun microphone, and but I didn't have a proper setup, mm -hmm. so we we tried we tried getting some audio, but there was way too many machines running in the background, and uh, we couldn't turn them off, obviously because it's a business and they need their drinks to not go bad <laughs> yeah <laughs> and stuff uh but so what we ended up doing was we hired a uh, josh suey our sound designer to pretty much toss almost all the audio adr uh pretty much everything right yeah, adr what is that uh of? like there's different different i think additional audio recording or additional dialogue recording yeah there's, di there's tons of different yeah, it's pretty much just you know pretty much speaking over the lines that are already said to get a clearer and crisper um uh sound uh, actually in a studio usually is when yeah recorded. yeah lord of the rings uh, i think they redubbed pretty much first movie i think a lot because they, they had a sound stage that was uh where the audio was kind of scrapped the planes yeah. falling overhead but and uh kind of a cool thing i think was um i had um i had the whole script written out and uh i actually one day sat down and wrote out all of the different shots and angles that I wanted to actually happen in this uh, in this scene. Like all all of the shots that you're seeing are actually what I wrote down originally. So um, I I just I thought that was pretty cool that I could uh, you know kind of show what I was kind of thinking in my mind and actually portray it in a pretty pretty decent yeah way at least in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I think it got kind of. Got a little bit. It would have been cool if you were or got like a storyboard artist to kind of show us, but I, it made sense for the yeah, most part. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I, I kind of. This was my first time directing, so I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wasn't exactly directing in the best possible way. But you did a pretty good job. I mean, I think I probably said sorry about fifty times, and each one was totally deserved. I think that was probably the most serious, like the, kind of the most formal shoot we did. You know, I, yeah, like we were the most. Not not to say we weren't serious about the rest of it, but yeah, that scene probably had the most um, crew members. Yeah, probably. And <laughs> and uh, this scene, I actually filmed this entire scene with a different actor because um, all of the actors that we have in this in this film have were actually first choices of mine, uh, but uh, except for the main character uh, Wilson, who uh, was going to be played by a different actor. But um, and we actually uh, took some time to to film with him, but. Uh, his schedule was extremely hectic, and uh, we ended up having to. Uh, it was just a good idea to just go with someone else, and you know, convenience and all that stuff. It ended up falling to me, which I was kind of disappointed about. But uh, you know, first time directing, you know, hope to focus just on the directing. But you know, sacrifices have to be made <laughs> for yeah, the sake of an indie film. <laughs> yeah. So you had, you had to do uh, you know, director and and lead actor. And writer, and writer, and editor. Mm -hmm. uh, to some, we we both edited. Right, right. We were, well. I think you did after a certain point. You, I just let you have it. And yeah, um, to your magic. You know, Luke uh, Luke Roberts showed me the, uh, the ins and outs of the, yeah. the Adobe Premiere. Exactly, and uh, and uh, I actually just got a demo session of uh, of uh, Adobe, uh, like a thirty day trial, and that's how I finished editing Henry yeah. Winston. And then you know Luke touched everything up. And yeah, just made everything look a lot better. And, you know, I, I just did the main cutting. He did the special effects and everything that, that you could actually see in here, which I hope are pretty subtle. Oh, and... Uh, uh, this was, uh, yeah, this was uh, in my uh, aunt and uncle's backyard. Uh, there's a creek that runs there. But uh, we, we uh, I got, like, some frankincense resin and charcoal, and 
we created the kind of like the haze. It was more of like a, it's more smoky looking, but it was really windy and it was kind of it was really kind of, it wasn't it, it was rained pretty, a little bit. It rained a little bit. It was uh and we actually we do you remember we lost help as we went. Yeah, um, yeah. And that and that fall was accidental the first time. So I figured, you know, I'm already soaking wet. Let's um get it a little bit more dramatic and have me fall into the river a couple of times and get me even more soaking wet. Yeah, it was pretty brutal on you. Honestly, though, it wouldn't have mattered because, like, a, I think it was about a minute after we wrapped up filming that night, it downpoured rain. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, that's right. downpoured. I think you're right. Yeah. And, um, oh, and this is, you know, uh, Tom Kangas's house. It, it took me probably <laughs> at least two, three it's months to find this place. Yeah, and it wasn't too far away from your house. And yeah. It was kind of like... It, no, yeah. no, I was out in Montville, and I was uh, just I was just on the outside of Chardon, technically Hamden. Yeah, it was about 20 minutes from where... I live so it wasn't terribly far away yeah yeah and uh he was a really uh really nice letting us uh letting us into his house which he was kind of uh trying to keep it its uh, integrity as as an old house uh which right. i thought was really cool yeah and uh, he uh, almost all of the props that you're seeing in this in this house are his they were up uh up in his uh, uh, he had a big barn barn and barn and- attic or something yeah it was uh, the second floor of this big barn and uh, he just had tons of stuff stuffed away he actually had a whole bunch of doors like chipping paint yeah he actually covered all the windows yeah and it was like lead paint or something like lying around it's pretty funny yeah it was great and like um i mean just to give you an idea some of the things that we did you know the the windows in the beginning uh when i closed the door it's kind of has some sort of uh weird stuff on it and that's actually just toothpaste Toothpaste and and, uh uh uh, flour flour, which (laughs) I, i i actually didn't know until recently. I, w- I don't. I don't think it was there for that shoot when you guys did that. But that's pretty cool. You managed to create that kind of aged look, kind of nasty. Uh, yeah, Tom and uh, uh, Tom pretty. and Tammy were were very very hospitable to us. Oh and, yes, uh, they were. Uh, often, really... uh, if we needed to come back the next day, they would just pretty much let us keep everything as is to keep the uh, keep the uh, what's the word I'm looking for An integrity, I guess uh, of of oh, the, the set. look of the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah which uh, was was really nice. Yeah, we didn't really shoot shoot this with uh, black and white in mind. It was kind of a last minute decision in post. But uh, I actually used I got like some uh, colored gels and going kind of for like bluer look uh, in the original. Um, but yeah, the the light that's behind Connor's head is actually supposed to be simulated moonlight. Right? Yeah, kind of. I mean, moonlight's actually kind of more whitish, but but yeah. generally you see you kind of see see it in like a bluer. A lot of movies kind of do the blue look, but um, yeah, and. Uh, and also one of the problems when, when we uh, changed the black and white was um, the chessboard actually, uh, we, we stained it with uh, 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 blood, pretty much, not real blood, well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was meant to look like blood. And right. the whole backstory, like uh, when uh, Harry is seen in the last scene with uh, his head kind of kind of bashed open, <laughs> you know, uh, was the backstory was that, uh, you know, he supposedly died, quote unquote, you know, uh, by falling and hitting his head on the, on the side of the chessboard. But that kind of loses it when we turn it into black and white you can tell that there's something there on the top right corner but definitely not probably gonna guess blood yeah and, and and i really there's a certain way to light black and white too there's you have to light it differently than color just how it works but um and, and that we didn't obviously do that so it's kind of kind of dark in some places but we also also were kind of low in budget so oh, fun fact uh the the person uh harry's hands over there on the aerial shots of the chessboard were actually filmed at a completely different day it's not even connor oh it's, really it's actually jonathan klein oh i didn't know. i actually didn't know yeah that. he just uh, threw on a white shirt and uh kind of just played out the chess moves because i had them all set up um on my uh on my little phone it's kind of weird if you think about it too because john like he's in the, he's sitting across from uh the other like like he's kind of in the same position he's on the right side when they're talking when you intercut or not intercut but jump back to the uh, modern day hmm. um it's kind of weird if you think about it like yeah yeah it's uh it's kind of always interesting how everything uh the order uh, everything's filmed in yeah but um yeah so this this uh filming in this place probably took um, i think we had three days three or four days of, of real intense filming um because um, originally this was um, going to be a pretty quick, a pretty quick uh, uh, short film to make. Yeah. But then I found the house and it was perfect in every single way. Yeah. It was... And I I called Luke and I was just like we we can't just let this be a weekend thing. I found the perfect house and it's just we we really should spend some more time at this because uh, this was actually um, going to be a precursor to uh, another film that I was going to be going to be making, which eventually right. fell through because of <laughs> many many reasons. But um, right. 
yeah not losing hope on that script uh ominous was was the name of that film but uh yeah, and originally I wanted, only wanted to do like a ten minute movie, but I, I'm glad we I'm glad we went all out in some ways. You know? Yeah, I was hoping for fifteen, but uh, yeah, you know, fifteen it, minutes it, would have been good it, too. It, a little more than doubled that, <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was a good experience. So I think overall, I mean, we yeah, this lot. shot took forever. I mean, oh, we did probably, it? How many times? I, I was I was I mean, actually, we probably uh, spent like a half an hour just on this shot. I was the one who uh, did the candles. And I, yeah. I think we had a friend on set too. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, we uh, we. Yeah, this was this was halfway through filming, and uh, well, you were there. You yeah, were I, was, there I was there for yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, because uh, people kind of filtered in and out. Uh, you know, my sister I think was here for yeah, some of the filming. She was here for this one, I think. Yeah, but uh, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> the the flashlight actually flickering it was me literally just pushing the button. <laughs> yeah. <on and> <laughs> Uh, we were hoping to get the flashlight actually dying, but uh, that was kind of a tif- uh, difficult thing to, to achieve. achieve. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, the, the actual the the music for this for this part of the uh, of the of the score is actually not mine. It's actually Rachmaninoff, his first symphony, Isle of the Dead, and uh, I had uh, found it online a while ago, and uh, I, I just I just totally had it in mind for this for this scene. I I tried to score something else, but nothing of nothing really matched up to to the feel that that was uh, portraying for this scene. And uh, yeah, it actually lined up really yeah, well. Yeah, it works really well with. It. I think it really makes it a creepy. Sequence yeah, and in the I, film. I I didn't even edit to the score. I just placed it in after I was done editing. So it kind of just happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like when things line up cues yeah. and whatnot. And yeah, was, and this this basement. Um, you can't really see anything. Uh, it, it, you don't even know really if this is a basement, honestly. But uh, it's a completely stone basement. And, you can kind uh, of tell in the beginning, I think. But yeah, I think it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, yeah. oh, it was pretty uh, interesting. Uh, it was cool to have those. Uh, I think uh, John's like a crane. Yeah, he he had a, he a crane this, and the tracks though too. And the tracks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I literally had zero film equipment for most of this production. And uh, we were we were both borrowing from John, and I was borrowing from Luke, and all sorts of different things. And uh, so it was it was quite uh, crazy going all around to everyone's. Uh, <laughs> oh, and um, uh, I borrowed some of uh, some lighting equipment from John, and actually uh, one of the lights actually broke. I think that was my fault. I think uh, what did, what 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 happened? Again? It um well it was already kind of it was it was not the most expensive light, but it um. I, uh, it was already kind of falling apart <laughs> and we had it plugged in and all of a sudden just a big spark happened and uh, the, the wire literally just split in half <laughs> mm. it just it kind of gets severed yeah yeah um but uh i'm pretty happy with how the adr kind of came out with this scene yeah and this was uh this is actually john filling in uh for my role i I think, it, I think the weather was bad or something. I, I, I know one or two times i didn't yeah we come yeah, out. yeah john we had to film on john's uh uh uh, Canon. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what was what, what's the name of yours again? Uh, I, I have a. Uh, we used a Panasonic GH2 on this. Yeah, and then project. now and then for like a couple tiny shots, uh, used uh, the uh, C100. Yeah, the which Canon. is which is honestly the best uh, the best camera we used for yeah, this whole project. Yeah. Um, yeah. All the end credits are actually done with the C100, but now and then because um, we kind of now and then f- uh, missed a couple of shots. And things like that. Yeah, we ended got, up filming with uh, the C one hundred now and then. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this was this was a pretty fun a pretty fun shoot. I I, I especially loved using that fisheye. Oh, and funny story that that little look over um, was actually me to turn around to do a funny face at Luke because I I'm I'm stupid and like doing that for some reason. And that that bear shot wasn't even going to be in the film. I just kind of filmed it for a second, and uh, I needed more time for for uh, the narration. So it kind of just worked out that I turned over right then. Yeah. <laughs> or else it wouldn't have nearly worked as well. That musical transition too, right back there was a pretty. That was a pretty yeah. cool. Uh, thing thank you, just thank you, to... Rachmaninoff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that picture is practically the 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 picture that he's looking at. The one that's behind him right now um, was practically the only thing in this house that wasn't Tom's. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he had so much stuff. Yeah, I wanted uh, I wanted vintage. a portrait of an entire family, man, possibly his family, honestly, or generational part right, of his family. Right. Um, and I found that an, at a, an antique store. And this is this is filmed with my camera. Yeah, this is C one hundred shot. It looks really good. We had an older version of this shot, and uh, it was really grainy. And, oh, was uh, it? Well, yeah. Did you get it with John? Uh, John's, John's camera. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. His camera doesn't do well in low light. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's it was kind of like that's, pretty noisy. That's my that's yeah. That's my, another Super Hunter well. shot that we didn't. It, it looks really bad in in color. It's completely different yeah, coloring. It's yeah. completely different brightness the and, lightning, and the, lighting the black stuff. and white completely just takes it all away practically. Yeah, it helped quite a bit. And that shot right there is probably one of my uh, I'm the, one of the shots I'm most fond of in this in the in this entire thing. Yeah, I really like that one too. The lighting. Yeah. It's one of the examples there. of us having the doors in front of all the windows. Yeah, the it's kind of a cool backlit. It was kind of yeah. Like we had the there. um one of John's borrowed lights, the one that eventually broke <laughs> in outside shining in through the window that's it was like 14 degrees out and, and uh oh yeah it was hard to set up uh, uh, i think tad uh tad connor's uh, yeah uh tad brennan tad uh, brennan Con connor, Not... connor's brother oh, okay yeah i get that uh yeah he helped me out he was super helpful uh, but now, now and then you can see him his 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 elbow at the corner of a shot like right in the bottom left corner yeah um uh, or at least in this version, because we... <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I took it out. Okay. I, think, I hope yeah, I did. I couldn't remember. Uh, the person who filmed that last shot uh, with the books was actually Jonathan Klein's uh, dad, <laughs> Mr. Klein. Yeah, uh, this is another thing you kind of did in your own. Yeah, yeah, I just... Uh, when, this is, takes place in the Klein household and uh, one of their guest bedrooms. And I, as you can see, I threw the, the tail of the Sparrow poster at the side, which was a, a film that Jonathan and I... Worked on for many many years. Yeah, uh, like that, three or so years. Or yeah, yeah. That, John, Jonathan directed that, and we both kind of wrote it and uh, acted in it together. Uh, you, you you scored it all, so yeah, yeah. That was and, a uh, big big uh, challenge, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was a fun process though. But back to this film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a carry scored away. scored this one as well, um, mainly except for the the opening song, which was a Dave Brubeck. Huh. No, oh, not Dave Brubeck. Fives? Uh, no, or, what am I talking about? I, I was thinking of putting a Dave Brubeck song in the beginning, but I ended up not. And then the Rachmaninoff piece we talked about earlier. And this was all filmed on Jonathan's camera. And, uh, uh, yeah, this this portion here. Yeah. It's kind of hard because uh, I really wish we'd have, we would have like taped some markers for, like, where the lights were and kind of where they were pointed. But Yeah, I honestly, guess. I wish I didn't go uh, with the handheld look with this one oh, as much. Yeah. Was that a crane right there? Or that was a crane, or, technically. Or, uh, jib. Um, and then and the, <laughs> the crane we're referencing is not some amazing high-tech digital thing. It's it's pretty much a it's weight a on one side. Yeah, and, it's you know. just a manual jib, but they're, yeah. they're, they work pretty well uh, for yeah. Yeah. Sm with smaller cameras, I think. Yeah, the chessboard um, that I bought, I, I actually bought for it. I wanted to find the biggest chessboard that I could so that you know the audience could actually see it. Right. And so that I could actually do real chess moves. Like every single chess um, chess board uh, setup that you see is actually a real game, pretty much. And um, uh, anytime you see us playing the playing the game, we're actually doing real moves. It actually makes sense. We're not just you know randomly moving pieces, you know, out of sequence and everything. Exactly. So, actually, uh, removed a, uh, the top left. I removed. There's a kind of a little bit of a, a whitish thing, sign sticking out or painting kind of took oh, kind yeah of, I remember, remember that, that? Yeah, yeah kind yeah. of took away from the composition so I took it out yeah we were considering doing this scene black and white as well yeah um, but uh, yeah for the final version it, it uh, we ended up doing just the story that that um, uh, Henry tells to be the actual um, uh, black and white part actually I like the uh, color I think better than the, the and, copy shot yeah I, I actually was one of the scenes I was really sad uh, of losing the color for was this scene a really nice blue tint. Yeah, like a weird bluish color to it. Yeah, this was all lit just by flashlight. Oh, and and there is a candle in the background. Candle uh, behind uh, behind Connor. I think was Connor holding a uh, the reflector or who was? Where did you guys set? That it was around? it was in different areas depending on the angle, um, but yeah, I think Connor was holding it a lot for especially his close ups, and um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we we actually did an outtake just for the heck of it. We were pretending that. Elmo from Sesame yeah, Street yeah, was was was, was uh, trapped in the uh, was trapped in the door in the in the room yeah, in the, the room <laughs> and so now and then you know he'd say his lines and I I'd, I'd kind of kind of uh, uh, try to slightly mouth off Elmo speaking because I can I could kind of do an Elmo voice yeah, pretty good impression but yeah this one was a, we kind of broke that 180 roll a little bit there but I mean it, it's not it's not terrible but uh but yeah this is the kind of the part coming up um, where you guys kind of did that. Um, Elmo. Uh, yeah, it happens right here. This is the whole scene where we did that. But uh, 
It kind of has like like if you notice, kind of has. Uh, we were so we I had some uh, older lenses. Uh, they're actually they were for a thirty five millimeter SLR. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And it kind of had like this weird like uh, ghostly halation that some you know old. It's kind of a, actually a problem that old lenses can get. Uh, but I actually thought it looked pretty. It added kind of a older quality to it. Um, yeah, actually, a lot of the things that wouldn't have worked in normal films actually worked quite well in this. Like the ADR, although it kind of makes some scenes seem a little weird, honestly, yeah. I think it actually brings something a little bit more of an old quality to it. Yeah, that, yeah there is this kind of a weird quality. That I think it kind of adds to the film. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of little a little things that, that most good, people... Good, good, weird, but... Yeah, good, weird things uh, that, that most people wouldn't do in a normal setting that actually kind of almost helped this... this yeah. uh, C100 shot, by Yeah, the way. that's another one, yeah. Yeah, that's, I kind of freaked out when I found out I didn't have that shot. <laughs> Had to go back to the house like three three or four months later. Yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit later. Yeah, it was actually summer then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you see in a couple of shots when I'm sitting down talking to talking to Harry, um, I'm actually sweating because yeah. it was so hot in that sweater. Because you know it, we we filmed this when it was still snowing. Yeah, man. it was. It got pretty cold. It was, and we had a we had a snowstorm. That storm. that last scene was actually the last stuff we filmed with Connor. Oh, okay. That was that was his, his final. Yeah, that was his final shoot. Now, this was a this was an interesting day. Yeah, this was uh, one of the other scenes that we planned on doing with the. Uh, with the other actor. Right, right. This is actually me. Uh, I was a <laughs> sit-in. If you I, I figured he, <laughs> the shape of his head was more was more normal to to the shape of the other actor's head. So I, I figured you know Luke could stand in for that. Um, this was quite a hassle to actually get right. We um, had to track down a, a place that actually had the old microfilm readers from uh, ni- the 1950s. So yeah, so I, I wore a church it, in Kirtland, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I wanted it to be accurate, and um, I actually got. Um, newspaper uh microfilm from uh the chardon library right. of actual articles that actually uh, uh written back in when like the what the 30s or 40s? Uh, the 30s, 30s yeah okay, late, wow. late 30s yeah um we couldn't get 50s because uh i don't think we had they had any much documented around then actually yeah but um so uh it, it was actually a super long process i was only able to have the microfilm for about mm, five hours uh then they wanted it back they had a copy of the microfilm that I had, but um, they 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 were very um, <laughs> very uh, scared. hesitant to you know yeah, lend hesitant. you it yeah, or that's a better word. to uh, to to lose it. I I don't blame them. Working yeah, work, it was kind of cool working with the microfilm, and it's I don't know, it's kind of a cool way to archive things, honestly. But um, yeah, um, it, uh, yeah, it, it was a, it was very very difficult because with all the narration going on, I had to have all the shots planned out very systematically to make right. sure that the narration there was enough time and, and space um, and kind of a rhythm to it to to fit what what the narration had. Yeah, and uh, so I had to I had to think of everything ahead even before I had really seen much of it. Actually, no, no, I I'd gone there. Yeah, that's right. I'd gone there a month prior uh, before we actually filmed there. Mm. So so I actually had an idea. That's right. Yeah. And then I wrote out the uh, shots. Was this this was some of the later stuff we did, right? No, no. no? This was. So this did was, we do this earlier on? We we did this this. Well, actually, no. Wait. Yeah, this part we did later. The the scene coming up with Connor and all bloody. We actually did, did that did earlier. That earlier, yeah. See, because all these uh, little devices and things like that, I had to build with uh, with my dad. And those are kind of a, kind of finicky, especially yeah. the, uh, the the arm door the arm scratcher. But we finally got it down. Yeah, that was that was quite difficult. It kept coming out of the uh, out of the out of the box, and it was really hard to get it back in. And right, stuff. and uh, creepy clown on the on the rocking chair. <laughs> that was that was a nice touch. Yeah, yeah those were just um, yeah, all all of those things just on the mantle were just already in there in that room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, a lot of things were just kind of there waiting for us in some ways. Yeah, it was kind of nice. It was really kind of we were kind of fortunate. To be yeah, honest. it was really fun. It made it made it really interesting. It kind of it was kind of like a American Pickers finding finding the right stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a it's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. This scene is one we we did earlier. Um, as you can see, one of the one of the little inconsistencies throughout this film is the candle lengths. Um, oh yeah, it's kind of a kind of a very subtle. Um, uh, I mean, I suppose we could have, uh, in, you know, this takes place over about six months, technically, the, the actual story. So, right. obviously, you wouldn't have the same candlesticks for six months. Yeah, that's true. That can be explained away, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, but explained away is worse than actually have an explanation in the film itself, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, who, how are you going to explain that? Yeah, <laughs> kind of a candle. Who knows, maybe the candles were haunted. <laughs> or are you just, uh, one scene's like, oh, I have to replace these candlesticks. They're getting quite low. Uh, the makeup uh, here was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... Samantha Winters uh, did a, a really great job with this. And uh, yeah, uh, this this was... This was the last night uh, we filmed of Connor. Oh, um, was it? Yeah, what happened was we actually filmed this scene first before the other scene where the, the friend, quote-unquote, spoke, spoke to Wilson. Oh, okay. Which, right, which I find, find kind of interesting because, you know, the, you'd, you'd imagine that this would be the, the last one because um, getting the blood on the shirt and everything, we actually had to just change out the shirt. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. Wanted, I wanted to make sure uh, that I had this scene um, above everything else because he had a certain time limit limit by the time he had to get home so i really wanted to get this one out of the way because this was definitely the more important uh scene. yeah here i i think we just i just did a, a really oh, a slow shutter effect i think kind of ran out of uh i think lighting we tried some stuff but yeah this was fun yeah, right yeah. all these all these quick uh shots were fun to kind of yeah that's this shot took probably uh, uh, it took like, forever like, like 15 takes or so yeah down how we just just kind of down not such and a... and this shot, I, I'm actually filming this the handheld. Oh yeah. And, this... uh, when he started screaming, I actually got a little scared because <laughs> this was that was the first take we did. And this uh, real quickly was uh, we had, I think we someone had a reflector yeah. and uh, in front of me and front I, of the you. flashlight was reflecting back in my face and then Luke was holding the camera next to me and we were just kind of running by which was kind of dangerous because the the road was complete ice. Yeah, at that it was. Point. It was. But we did that one pretty quickly. It yeah, was kind of like it took just, like uh, two takes. I think. Yeah, we we, we we were. I think we were trying to get get out of there pretty quick. Yeah. Um, this goes back to the uh, first shoot. I mean, we did. We, yeah, all all of the stuff in the bar took place in one night. One night. We got it all out of the way, uh, although it took forever. But you know, uh, I was actually really happy that we filmed this during the day. Um, yeah. I actually the their narration um, because of how I filmed the shots. This was one of the shots that I. This is one of the shoots that I I didn't actually have planned with the narration that well. And so I ended up having to, oh, while we were... Ladybug, got to point that out real quick. We were trying to get it to move, but it... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Not to interrupt your... Uh... If you could even see it. But um, like I was saying, uh, the ADR session with, with Tom, uh, Tom Robbins, uh, we when he was doing his narration for this, it was... We, we didn't have uh, enough at all. I mean, there would have been at least, at least 30 seconds of just no speaking at all. <laughs> so I had to literally write lines on the spot. Uh, with with Josh Suey and Tom, <laughs> kind of just waiting. Oh, okay. So to fill in uh... to fill in all the gaps, yeah. Huh. And uh, yeah, Josh Josh did a nice uh, um, uh, nice job with the creepy sound effects here. I like him a lot. And uh, along with the the score, I think it complements the score in a lot of ways here. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, this was another C one hundred shot because this whole scene oh, yeah, actually. Whole sequences. Well, except for uh, well, the upstairs sequence. Upstairs, right. We actually lost the footage. We ha oh, I have no idea where it went. Um, oh, really? Did we shoot? We, we did we shoot it, it before? Yeah, we filmed it. We oh, filmed I don't know. We're shooting it. Uh, well, you weren't really in the room at uh, that point. Okay, you were, that's right. You were setting oh, up. Oh, did we? I think we did it. Else. I think Dylan Bush came out and yeah. we used we used his camera. And, but uh, no, or was we used it? your no? camera and his SD card. Oh, that's right. I think right. that's probably where yeah, it went. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, this was kind of a lousy shot. Honestly, I wasn't too happy with it. In a way, that's like he's kind of they're kind of like drunk or something. This this kind of this late. monologue actually was a compilation of three different takes of that, pretty much. And uh, I was just trying to find the best um, in focus ones of each one. Yeah, yeah, it's like like they're just exhausted. I mean, we were all kind of exhausted at that point. Yeah, that um, was that was that was at least three in the morning by then. Yeah, it was pretty. And then the original audio, late. we had these uh, nice train whistle going on in the background, which was really nice sounding, mm -hmm. really calming, honestly, in a way. And um, luckily, Josh was able to um, find uh, sounds very similar to it and uh, actually put them back in. Yeah, I think he's, he did a good job here. The, yeah. Uh, replacing kind of the train, background yeah. train noise. Yeah, definitely. And uh, <laughs> you know, like we had, we had to bring, um, we had to bring him back. He, he left, <laughs> and because we we missed one crucial line, uh, the the my name's Henry line. Oh, was that it? <laughs> that was that was the one, and I was like, oh no, we were we need pretty, that one. <laughs> uh, we things got kind of frantic because I was, I mean, we I had, were dead tired. Well, I had to, I had to work at you know at eight a.m. So I was kind of I was kind of like oh we kind of I mean I wanted to you know I, I'm fine with shooting late like that, but at the same time I 
you know, kind of needed to, I needed to go. And, uh, so we were really kind of frantic with this and yeah. And, and a lot um, of equipment to put away. Yeah. Yeah. And the last shot that's coming up with him, with him, uh, his, uh, hand open holding the, uh, the black knight. I was one of the last things we, we filmed actually. Yeah, and you did this one. Yeah, we did this one. Uh, that's actually, is that your hand? That's or? actually at Tom's house. Oh, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, when we went to when we we went to film with um, I went back to film with him to get some of the shots that I had missed, and so we just hurry up and filmed filmed that shot, and um, all the end credit stuff are actually done with my camera, right? Uh, the C one hundred, and uh, John uh, Luke, uh, did a great job making the uh, the nice uh, damaged film look, uh, black and white. Yeah, we kind of just added that kind of a uh, old kind of damage scratched film yeah and uh, even some of the shots were actually done in my room actually randomly and my sister daytime right too. no well, well some one of them, were, of them yeah the light bulb one uh, but most of the candle shots were actually done in my room uh while ashley was <laughs> i have a tv in my room and we uh, she was watching parks and recreation <laughs> so in the original audio you can hear uh, leslie nope like goofing off and stuff like that and she's laughing at it it's kind of kind of funny it's pretty funny um yeah, so, um, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this commentary. Um, uh, we also have a, um, a behind-the-scenes uh, interview that, that we actually have yet to make. We're going to be making it in a, in a little bit, but uh, by the time you're seeing this, you've prob that's probably already it'll be, online. It'll be, out. it'll be online. Yeah, so I um, so, uh, hope you enjoyed the film and this commentary, and um, uh, you know, like and subscribe and Share all that, and, and if all you, that good If you stuff. like it. Yeah, all right. If you hate it, uh, you, can, you, know, you can contact us and send us some hate mail. All right, have a lovely day.